Welcome back in. Let's see what messages show up for you. Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, Venus Sun, Jupiter, November 2024. New month. Let's see what you need to keep in mind as you enter the new month. Anybody is thinking about dealing with a person on your mind. Virgo. Reverse the roles if needed. Switch the cases. You know, you don't have to force the reading on your situation. Let's dive into your reading. Straight away, we're going to see what's coming up for you. Why? Questions? There are some questions on your mind. You're starting off with a question. Why me? Why this? Why? What? Maybe. But the best part is that angels are here to answer your why. I see that uh, there's a beautiful angelic presence. You are having this book in your hand. And can you see the wings coming out of this book? Angels are here to answer your question, Virgo. You're divinely guided. Have this faith, have this trust, and move forward. We have chaos and conflict. There's an energy. If somebody you're dealing with or generally in your environment, I'm picking up a lot of energy of chaos. There might be people you're dealing with or there might be a specific person who is creating a little mess in your surroundings. And you might just simply ask this question. What is wrong with you? Why are you doing this? Or why me? Why are you doing this with me? You know, there's some question like, I don't see that sort of irritation or exhaustion, but I'm just picking up that inquiry, you know, that, that inquisitive uh, energy. Why I'm experiencing this? Why I'm going through this? Chaos. The good thing I feel is that despite of all the chaos and uh, crazy energy around you, you might feel quite calm from within because some answers that are going to show up that are going to calm your energy down but for another message i specifically heard for somebody focus on your sacral and solar plexus chakra these two chakras are going to be very important this can be about the mess in your environment your surroundings the people around you or your very close relationships. Sacral chakra talks about your intimate relationships. Solar plexus chakra in general, the relatives, the outside world, you know, the extended family and stuff, your society. So, okay, two of wands in the reverse position, first card out. What I see overall here is that there is an energy of indecision, Virgo. There's a, there is an energy of indecision here. Some emotions, Virgo, are not letting you make a decision. I'll show you. See, there is Queen of Cups, bottom of the deck. I'm feeling in general that there is an energy of being sensitive, right? There's an energy of being sensitive about the matter. And I don't know, I'm feeling outside conflict, but for a few of you, this can be an inner conflict also that's not letting you be decisive or something. I'm, I'm feeling that you need to focus on your sacral chakra and solar plexus chakra. Cleansing, healing, meditation over your chakras here are going to be helpful, yes. Oh my God, there are some inner transformations. Making peace with some realities, Virgo. I'm specifically picking up that you might feel that okay some decision can can be delayed some decision you can put some decision to you can say the queue a sideline that energy for time being because there is some inner transformation happening i actually felt that you're making peace with something that's very important see we have queen of coins Pain of coins. Now you're dealing with the Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Not dealing with the North sign here. And this person, specific North sign. Okay, there might be some financial things that are affecting this person. You can see in a moment, five of pentacles. I see feeling quite upset because of someone. I am picking up trying to make peace or at heart you just take accepting few things about a specific person in your life you might have questions why is this person like this or why this person do, does this to me every time or something but okay the queen of cups is here see emotional situation for few of you i see you might feel that um some decisions are i, I just feel that 
some deci decisions are being delayed because of some sensitive energies here six of swords moving on okay you're sensitive about a topic you're trying to move on from it i see transformation happening about it changes happening about it but then the tower strikes okay this is something i'm going to clarify before making any judgment there's something very unexpected about this person happens and you feel shock while dealing with them and this may be the real question is the tower is actually bringing both that real question that you know tower is the shop tower is having epiphany sometimes about a specific person some some sudden epiphany about a specific person some realization and you're like mesmerized about it but before jumping onto this conversation we're going to see that in a moment somebody you're dealing with this person is indecisive confused this person feels i'm tied down i'm actually tied down when it comes to dealing with you the tied down six of cups did they consider you as a soulmate they have this beautiful energy of feeling good with you about you around you but then two of pentacles i see this person is struggling to support you despite of having a very beautiful thought about you feeling that you're a soulmate very caring and they have care for you eight of swords is that they're not able to make a decision or they're very confused or fucked up a little bit and uh, they're trying to make it this person is having some um secrets they might be comparing you with somebody or there's some sort of comparison going on in their life we're going to see that in a moment six of pentacles yeah i do feel this person is trying to balance different sides different approaches nine of pentacles for a few of you i see you are dealing with this person or the general energy in this situation is about balancing the odds maybe this person is trying to balance different parties here i see you have invested a lot you have invested a lot in this person or you tend to invest a lot in this person you're patient with them you're very calm with them i do see that you're kind with them as well because sometimes you know six of swords six of pentacles some this energy sometimes is okay i'm doing it and i'm moving on i'm not expecting it back that is the kind of givingness i'm picking up from your energy they are concerned about you but what they are concerned about you they have affection for you i wouldn't deny that but that for some reason i just feel that this person is struggling to make a decision about you let's see more virgo four of wands two of swords bottom of the deck for few of you i see the overall energy is quite positive but your intuition keeps on telling you that this person is trying to balance you with somebody else now i'm not saying that this is your partner this is a romantic inclination this might be a female in your life maybe a taurus virgo capricorn female in your life uh with whom you might have a little difficult relationship maybe because you know that they are affectionate about you and can be a mother can be mother in law can be sister in law can be a female who has kept a very important place in your life but again um somewhere i'm feeling that intentionally or un unintentionally this person hurts you maybe that's the karmic relation you have with them we're going to see that in a moment let's clarify a few cards this is virgo sun moon rising venus and jupiter this person is fucked up from within maybe it's not about you maybe they have their some personal thought their own a bringing even i felt six of cups you know your childhood memories your bringing your childhood traumas things that you are you have experienced throughout your life and they tend to block you know your belief systems your values your culture they tend to block you sometimes and you are unable to see a uh, the fact that differences exist so that is something i'm picking up about this person they have some different sort of thought process but they have affection for you that is something i'm picking up 
the magician in the reverse position i see you letting the transformation happen naturally you are letting this on the universe work out the good part i'm feeling is that you're not trying to interfere in the process you're just accepting the way it is magician here yes there is an energy where you're not trying to manifest you're not trying to interfere you're not trying to take the charge are you letting the death card death is the energy of transformation you're letting the transformation happen naturally from the universe in this situation what do you want to say uh queen of pentacles why is this person here we're going to see that in a moment yeah for some of you this is somebody who is carrying the load of the family who's carrying the load of their loved ones their house maybe they're doing all the work they have a lot of responsibility on their shoulders they have the baggage and you know this is somebody who has invested a lot in their you know in their house in their home i see the family they're doing a lot very giving energy and at some point they feel that okay you know how the gardener does i see the family is like a garden for them and they have done a lot they're waiting for all the flowers to pop up that is the energy i feel for this person you know they're trying to do a lot in their family you are indecisive because you know your life is going through a change and you're letting the change happen naturally you might have this feeling that i don't want to force anything i don't want to force uh, the change i don't want to pace up i don't want things to run fast whatever pace universe has decided i want it to happen that way and in this time period even if it is required to step back and not be decisive you're not going to do that see stepping back and working on yourself that is the energy as if a few of you actually felt work or that some things might happen that are going to um shook your inner foundation when it comes to this person and this relationship and maybe the foundation with this person Again I'm not feeling that this this is love maybe for few of you this is love for rest of you this is your relationship with some person in your family some person around you or whatever characteristics I'm I'm picking up you might have decided to just step back and focus on your work on yourself work in your cocoon okay for few of you I see there are some facts which you're trying to adjust with you're trying trying to accommodate with with the six of swords but then some things sometimes shock you you know that's i i'm not even feeling some crazy shock i'm i'm just feeling some inner epiphany that happens every time when you deal yeah. with this person let's see more look at that three of cups and star yeah i do see they have a very healthy feeling for you they want reconciliation start with the three of cups they're hoping to be friends again they're hoping to work things out with you they are a little fucked up at heart they want reconciliation with you but they're little fucked up i am just feeling that they're struggling to do so because of some other parties involved in the picture maybe they have some now three of cups they have some other parties involved maybe they have some similar relations with i don't know i just feel that they have affection for somebody else as well and they're just trying to play it fair you wait for the right time i do see again there's a lot of affection from each other side if this is a love situation where go wow what is this sucks really disturbing noises okay for few of you i just feel that you want to offer compassion to this person you want to offer love to them yes and they feel the same about you but the problem is that somebody is just not able to balance the odds in their life see missing you thinking about you wanting reconciliation wanting things to be same again yeah they want things to be same again six of swords and for a lot of you you're not moving on from them you might feel that okay i'll move on from this person i'm not interfering in the process of the universe i'm not trying to do anything it's things are going to happen on their own no my dear hierophant you have a commitment with this person and there's going to be a judgment call they're coming back for reconciliation whoever this person is virgo this person is affectionate about you they're attached to you to a different level and 
I do see they have some struggle dealing with the situation because maybe the family matters, uh, investments matter. There are other things, nine of cups, bottom of the deck. There are other things that are affecting you and this person, but they have some serious affection for you and they're not going anywhere. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Okay. Virgo, September, maybe September 2025 is something important, some about you highly thought of. This person thinks about you highly. This person respects you. This person sees you as somebody of value. Maybe they have them personal issues going on. Older women, yeah. You may be dealing with somebody who is an older person, relationship with an older, or the one you're dealing with has an older member in their family who is affecting uh, the situation. Maybe the mother of your person or an, an elder person, maybe an older sister or somebody who has a lot of uh, say in their life. Or this can be some older female that you're dealing with in your life who's important. She's a soulmate, of course. Mountain road, you're on the road to success, Virgo. You might decide to step back, heal, focus on your own work, focus on your own healing for some time and not getting affected by what are your surroundings. And beware of self-delusion. Now, this person, you know, I had a weird message. Short journey is there. I had a weird feeling when it comes to this person. This person is living a life of delusion. Why I'm saying that? Maybe they have had some past experiences in their lifetime. Somehow I feel that they're trying to project those past experiences, Six of Cups with the Eight of Swords. This energy is making me feel that this person is trying to project those past experiences in their future connections. This happened with me, so maybe this is happening with my daughter. This happened with me, that's why it's happening with my son and his wife. I'm just trying to say that they are trying to find patterns in their life which might not exist. Maybe this is something human brain does, you know. We try to search patterns and things sometimes because this is how human brain works. We try to search patterns. We try to make connections. Sometimes they don't even exist. And we, we just get trapped in our own connections sometimes. This person is doing that. Moon changes in your life. Get ready for some big, massive, amazing changes in your life, Virgo. It's time to get out of the situation. Whatever you have experienced with this person might have been a little heavy, but it's time to just get out of the situation. The transformation is taking place. Family matters. This is a family situation, I feel, and eventually I do see reconciliation. So if you had a conflict with somebody in your family, uh, it's time to resolve the conflict because I do see a lot of affection and care for each other. But it's, it's about uh, the change. This person admires you a lot right so i'm gonna leave you here guys thank you so much for watching bye